Aloha, Mike CB here, and welcome to the gaming. If anybody wants to see, there's a Donkey Kong kill screen coming up. Uh, there's a Donkey Kong kill screen coming up if anybody wants to watch. Brian! Hey, dude. I'm not at the kill screen. Sorry about that, guys. Welcome to the gaming headquarters. In today's episode, I talk about my Donkey Kong arcade cabinet, and also I'm going to do some gameplay to see if I can beat my high score. And if you stick at the end of the, this video, I have a game that I want to show you and two movies that I got. All right, let's go. Just a quick update. Sorry I wasn't able to upload my video for Friday or Saturday. I've had my schedule from work changed to Monday through Friday, now instead of Monday through Thursday. So now my uploads will have to be from Sundays or Mondays. Thank you for your understanding. Okay, back to the cabinet. I got it in September 13, 2019. This is a brand new cabinet and not the original. It was all created in a wood shop. So yeah, it's a custom made Donkey Kong cabinet and which I really love. I've looked around for an original and found those that were on sale not to be in good condition. Meanwhile, the owners wanted to get rid of their cabinets and had water damage or it looked like the wood used was from particle wood. Those ones had damage shown on the cabinet. This new cabinet is awesome to have. Since I wasn't able to locate a good condition used one, this one was fine for me. I love the coin doors and the artwork on the thing. The LCD screen has a nice picture, but like I said in the Double Dragon cabinet video, I would have still preferred the CRT, but I understand that the builders of this cabinet wouldn't put one into this since it is a new cabinet. There is something that I've always wanted for a long time when I would be able to move from my single white trailer to an actual house for my arcade cabinets. If the Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition machine is what I wanted as a teenager, then the Donkey Kong cabinet would be something I wanted as a kid. The memories I've had with this is that of frustration since I could not make it far with the Donkey Kong. But yet, I wanted to keep playing it because of the challenge. Now, what put me on the lookout for getting this cabinet is the movie documentary The King of Kong, A Festival of Quarters on DVD, starring Billy Mitchell, Steve Wiebe, Walter Day, and Brian Koo. Let me show you on what I have on top of the cabinet. I have an autographed picture of Steve Wiebe. Really cool. I got this to put on top of the cabinet. I plan to find a good picture of Billy Mitchell as well since both of them are what made King of Kong so enjoyable to watch regardless of what has been going on with Billy Mitchell. On a side note, Steve Wiebe is actually from my state of Washington. Very cool. I have also on top of my cab Donkey Kong. Well, isn't he supposed to be Donkey Kong Jr. since Cranky Kong is the original Donkey Kong? I also have Mario, but in the Donkey Kong arcade cabinet, he's called Jumpman. And Pauline, which was Mario's first love interest, is just considered the lady here. If you ever played Super Mario Odyssey on the new Donk City level is Mayor Pauline. I wish they had Donkey Kong rendered differently instead of his classic look though. I want to talk about things that I wish were different on the cabinet though. I replaced a joystick which was a Wico or Wico WICO original red ball leaf switch classic 8-way joystick to a Pac Pro 4-way leaf switch joystick. The Wico or Wico had a stiffer feel to it while the Pac Pro felt more fluid to use. The button's fine, but I'm probably going to replace it with better buttons. Thinking about either the Rolly Leaf switch for a push button, or the Gold Leaf push buttons, which I've had on my 1943 arcade machine. Both choices are good, just gotta decide on which one I want. And last is the marquee. I'll probably order another one from Escape Pod or Zazaibo's Arcade to fix these things that I don't like. All right, guys, I'm gonna open up the coin door mechanism and show you what's inside. So go ahead and look in there. And if you go towards the left, you'll see the iCade board, JAMA, it's right there. 
And then uh, focus up on the power supply. It's on the bottom. Then if you can, scroll to the top. And then um, here, show, show the coin doors. So these work. Um, if I sit on the iCade for coins, you can dump quarters into this. But I have it set to free play. And then this button right here, if you can point here, this would probably get into the menu. I haven't tried it out yet, but um, I'm pretty sure that's the button for it. And then um, we'll open up the back so you can see what's inside. All right, we're behind the cabinet right now. I'm gonna open this up so you guys can see. Well, let me see if I grab the right key. There we go. Okay, let go. I got it. Right, why don't you show the show the viewers the inside of the machine. Don't go too fast. And then can you focus up on the speaker? That's where the sound's coming from. And then can you get the uh, the joystick? But I plan on changing the buttons out. I want to get leaf springs too in here. Besides that, this cabinet is like super clean. All right. And then uh, get the board too. And get the board too. Therefore, now that that's out of the way, let's play some Donkey Kong Arcade. So one of the things about this cabinet that I absolutely love is the artwork on the decals, like the side art. The Nintendo cabs are really, really attractive to look at. Even, um, what was it, R-Type is another Nintendo game that I liked. And uh, Popeye. Oh, <laughs> I tried to jump with the hammer. You can't jump with a hammer. Yeah, Popeye is a good game. I loved playing that back in the day in the arcades. And I also played it on the Atari 2600, which wasn't bad either. There we go. Let's not mess up. No! <laughs> oh! So, yeah. So I'm just gonna die right here so that way we can try it again. All right, here we go. I gotta make it at least to the pie factory. Close. 
There we go, I didn't jump this time with the hammer. Music on this game. It's so catchy. You know what music, or it's not the music, but the arcade machine that scared me the most? It'd have to be a uh, Sinistar. Like if you walk past it, especially when it roars at you, dude. Scare the living daylights out of me. Especially what he says to you, it's so funny. Tell you to run, coward. And then roar. And then say, I am Sinistar. If I can just get these two, we'll be good. No! Come back down here. Okay. No! Run away! Run away! Going for it! Oh! Oh, it's never this hard. You can usually get past this one. Try it again. Get the hammer. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, jump man. Yes. You come up here. Come on. Oh no, he doesn't want it. Get up there. I remember back from the day two, a friend of mine owned Donkey Kong on the board game. I don't know if anybody's played that before. But he had that. I think he had Centipede. And they were fun to play. Oh no! Of course I lost the hammer. I couldn't move. Oh no! Ah! Oh. I'm gonna just try to see if I can make it to the pie factory. Sorry, guys. All right, let's try another attempt. 
No, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat my high score tonight. But at least, at least, if I can just make it to the pie factory. moved. That was close. Alright, so far so good. You came here. How about you? Come on up. Go back down. Nope. All right, let's see if we can do this. Pushing it there. Careful. Now, did anybody watch the Super Mario Brothers or uh, Donkey Kong cartoon? He also had on Saturday morning cartoons uh, Donkey Kong Jr. as well. But I remember uh, hearing Donkey Kong's voice, he sounded really weird. Let's see if we can move, not yet. Yes, made it. Hopefully he doesn't get out of my way. Ok, 
Thank you. Grab the hammer. There you go. See if we can get the middle hammer. It's gonna go up there. Oh no. This guy is smart. Come on, let me have the hammer. Get away. There we go. Come on, get down here. Now, I don't want to try to outrun the still will get you. I hesitated, I hesitated. Not good, not good. Whoa, that was risky. Right, picked up the hammer of justice. Good. All right, made to the pie factory. Let's see if I can draw the little flames on the side. Yes! Go down. Yes! Oh, I always sweat about that. Okay, time this right. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Good, good. Oh no! Oh, I messed up. Can't die here, not this level. That was weird, he didn't want to leave. Alright, we'll play it safe. No! 
Oh. Okay. Almost there. Come on. Well, at least I made it to the pie factory. S. G. MSG. Well, I want to show you guys what I got in the mail yesterday. And I got Left 4 Dead 2. It's a new copy of it. And recommended by uh, a friend of mine on YouTube that I should check this out. Never played this before, actually. It looks good because I'm into zombie games. And then I got my Blu ray of Pee Wee's Big Adventure. This is hilarious. It's directed by Tim Burton. If you haven't seen this, I uh, recommend you check this out. And then also Justice League, the Zack Snyder cut. I saw this on HBO, and it's simply the better version. I mean, if you like the other one that got released, but this has more footage, and it feels like a more complete film, if you haven't checked this out, I recommend you watching it. All right? I want to do a special shout-out to DKOG73 for recommending this game for me to play. I want to also let you know that you can check out his channel on DKO G73 in which he covers entertaining gameplay, reviews, strategy, do it yourself, and game stories. He's one of my new friends I made on YouTube as well. All right, that's it friends, but I want to say thank you to my 10 subscribers. And also if you're new here to please consider subscribing to my gaming channel if you like my content and also giving this video a like if you enjoyed it. Aloha friends and take care. Have a nice day. <laughs> Be sure and tell them Large Marge sent ya. <laughs>